as suggested by the title, Ingrid and her tenacious, and occasionally competitive, co-workers are the focus of partner track. They are all vying to become the firm's next junior partner. Despite this, Ingrid has made the decision to retain a fulfilling personal life, which is made a little more challenging when a certain person appears in both situations. Partner track is being developed for television by Georgia Lee, who has previously written for the 100 and Prime videos The Expanse as well as having written and directed the independent film Red Doors. It is based on a 2013 book of the same name by author Helen Wan. Ingrid's struggles with racism and sexism are made more difficult by the presence of an ex-boyfriend named Jeff Murphy. Although it appears that her intense relationship with Murphy would lead to something positive, the first season's conclusion makes it clear that this is not the case. Here is everything you need to know about what it means for Ingrid and her relationship with Murphy. Ingrid Yun is close to becoming a partner, but she needs to keep the big deal with Sun Corporation from failing in order to complete the transaction. Even though her colleague Dan is adamant about getting the business for himself by any means necessary, she manages to establish herself as the point person for the transaction. When Jeff Murphy, a recent transfer from London, joins her on the case, a problem occurs. If the relationship between them had been completely new, working with him wouldn't have been as difficult. But a few years ago, Ingrid and Murphy had met at a wedding and sparks flew. Currently, Murphy doesn't even recognize Ingrid because she is so enamored with his charisma. Soon, something triggers his recollection, and the tension between them rises once more. However, Ingrid and Nick Laren have been dating for some time and are prepared to advance their relationship. Ingrid becomes even more anxious as a result since she feels that things with Nick are moving too quickly. The closest friend of Ingrid are also going through personal and professional difficulties. When Dan's racist comments are dismissed by the people who assert that they are striving towards equality and inclusion in the firm, Tyler is forced to question his place in Parsons Valentine. His relationship with his longtime spouse suffers as a result. When a client passes away unexpectedly, Rachel has a similar catastrophe and decides to reevaluate her legal career especially after realizing she has a knack for writing. Her relationship with Justin, a new paralegal, causes her problems within the workplace as well. But ultimately, Ingrid, Tyler, and Rachel discover themselves in a setting more in line with their worldviews. However, Ingrid is still in for one major surprise. When Jeff Murphy entered, everyone appeared to know that he would cause trouble, with the exception of Ingrid. At Rosecliff, she had a terrific time with him, and Ingrid even proclaimed that it was love at first sight because of how well they clicked. Ingrid met Murphy back then, but that was a while ago, and he is not the same Murphy she encounters at Parsons Valentine. When their paths intersect, he joins them as a transfer from London and doesn't recognize her. At least for the time being. Tyler, Ingrid's best friend, can immediately see that Murphy's intentions toward her are deeply unsettling. Tyler reiterates his advice to Ingrid to stay away from Murphy when she meets up with Nick. While Murphy is nothing but trouble, Nick is the ideal partner for her, and for a while, Ingrid agrees. She is seduced by his charms, though, and begins to think that his affections for her are just as genuine as hers for him as she spends more time with him. She doesn't understand, though, that Murphy has always been just interested in himself. The fact that Murphy conceals his true aims beneath his charms, in contrast to their colleague Dan, costs Ingrid her chance to become a partner. Murphy gets right to work as soon as he arrives at Parsons Valentine to position himself for consideration as a partner. He probably initially ignores Ingrid since he doesn't want her to cause any interruptions while he is working. He decides it's better to keep her close because he can clearly tell that she is intelligent, devoted, and a strong competitor, and it pays off in the end. He makes full advantage of the fact that he has some influence over Ingrid because of their shared past in order to divert her attention from what he is doing. Like when Murphy, who has already given up on the investigation, goes to dinner with Marty and Lassiter while Ingrid is drowning in files while attempting to find out how to preserve the Sun Corporation merger. It is Ingrid who saves the day, but Murphy also gets the credit, and he is quick to dismiss Ingrid's anger about him sneaking behind her back. Ingrid goes to great lengths to resolve the Sun Corporation deal throughout the entire series, and while Murphy does show competence, he is never present when it matters most for the company. But Ingrid can understand it because she feels that she is running out of time to solve the case and must put in more effort. She doesn't realize that Murphy keeps up his game the entire time, engaging in an affair with Victoria when it suits him. 
Murphy thinks that when the Sun Corporation agreement is completed, he will also receive credit, clearing the path for a cooperation. Hunter, though, secures a deal at the same time that puts him in the running. This indicates that Dan, Hunter, and Ingrid will be picked as partners for this year, which greatly displeased Murphy. He then starts to pursue the title at that point. Ingrid was previously detained because her sister had taken the earrings that Nick had given to Ingrid. She was at odds with Nick at the moment due to his proposal and the failure of the diversity gala, so instead of calling him to save her, she calls Murphy. In order to serve himself, he keeps his word that he will keep it a secret from everyone. He makes the decision to exploit Ingrid's arrest against her after realizing he is no longer in the running to become a partner. It will be extremely simple to remove Ingrid from the situation, but he is aware that he cannot stop Dan or Hunter from asserting their claim. As a result, he tells Marty about it, which is obviously bad for Ingrid's reputation. In one swift action, her dream of becoming a partner is crushed. What's worse is that Murphy not only sabotages her behind her back, but also pretends to be in love with her the entire time. In addition, he comforts her by telling her that, in keeping with the facade, she is the one who deserves the title. Ingrid, who is incredibly sorry for herself, is genuinely glad that Murphy was given the opportunity to be the partner. However, Marty eventually admits that it was the man she loves who told the company that she was hiding her arrest from them. Ingrid would have been better off avoiding Murphy, as it turns out Tyler had been right in his assessment.